This is the short version of this watercolor light lesson. If you're a patron, please come to Patreon to see the long version. In the last part, we already finished the drawing. Now we are starting the watercolor painting. Okay, let's mix the Windsor Red and the Pleasant Blue. And maybe have some burnt amber or yellow color. Let's get the yellow color. Stick with the three primary colors. Let's gonna start from here. Okay, do it like that. It looks pretty dark now, if it's okay. Okay, now quickly fill in the color on this side. The bottom over here, I need to make it a little bit darker. So I'm gonna make a, add a little bit present blue, a little bit thicker color. Okay, here we go. Now this is a little bit darker. Now I come in to the edge. Okay, right now just try to do the first run of wash into the background, setting up the colors and the spaces. So we're gonna watch out how that is gonna look like before we move to uh, to the next step. Okay, here we go. Good. Now I let the color merge together. Now coming around. Now I'm gonna come down over here, get a little bit darker, so get a little bit more blue. A little bit cooler color too. Okay, coming down here. And in the background, you may or may not want to give too much texture, uh, too much details. Okay, you give too much details, it may be bring that forward too much. I'm going to leave the outside, let it dry, and we're going to come back to decide whether or not we need to do a little more. Let's get a little color into uh, the main objects first. So what I want to do, I'm use this number 12 round brush. Okay, it have a little bit more of the yellow and red color. So I'm going to mix these two color in here. Now I think the colors is good. We're going to start from the neck over here coming down. And on this side have a little bit blue color. I'm going to just take some blue color right here. Okay, like that. And also on the top over here too, have the blue color. So I'm going to keep the blue color and let it blend in the color over here. Like that, good. Now coming down over here, that color change. A little bit more yellow. We just get some yellow colors. I'm going to have the color blend in. This is like a close to like a wet in wet process, painting process. I leave a little white on the side over here. And now coming down and we need a little bit more red. Now with this color in the brush, I'm going to start moving this color in here on this leg first before I change color. So that's good. Like that. Maybe need a little bit more water. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to change that. Okay. Um, still very wet. I can wait a little bit, I can continue, but I think the top over here need a little help right now. So I clean my brush, just clean brush. What I want to do, I want to just blend in the color on the top over here to have it get a little bit lighter, like this. It's do it at now, it's probably easier to do it later because the color is still wet. Like that. Okay. Also on the face, I'm going to do a little cleanup. So just use some uh, water in the brush. And just go through over here. I That was expected uh, to create a texture. That's okay. Like that. And we're going to add new colors after you dry. Okay, now we're going to continue back here. Have a little bit more red into this color. That's good. Now I'm going to continue 
over here coming down and the edge over here a little bit blur so uh, let's see I think here on the top over here I can expand their areas a little bit now I come back over here I want this color a little bit more uh, kind of gray colors so I'm gonna mix with this color it's already have it so I'm gonna have that in here close to the color of the wrap okay like that and on the edge over here too and blend into the color so you can see that it's a little bit more, a little bit softer, blend into the background. So you know what? We can actually get that color also into um, the background over there so that it look even closer. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to take this color onto this leg. It, the color temperature a little bit different. So that's just good. It's separate between this leg and that leg. Now come down over here a little bit more brown colors. There's just no light edge. So I'm going to uh, eliminate the light edge. Like that. On this side, i remove that too. Again, we don't have to do exactly what the photo reference. We need to make that. That's good. Now I have enough bright color at the front. Now what I want to do now, and on this side, have a little bit more green color here too. And I have a little transition uh, from one color to the other colors is showing the rock actually change directions. The whole thing is almost uh, have the color balance. And what I want to do now is still kind of damp in this area. And we are not be able to do the erasing and pick up the color at this point. Showing the catch the shadow. Right there. It's coming through over here. Also blend into this area. The main part of the painting is already dry. I'm going to use the nitty eraser. I'm just going to lift up the pencil mark. After I remove the pencil mark, I can see the painting could be different from before. This will look a little bit too light. And over here, I also want to create some kind of illusion, some growing. So I'm going to actually I'm going to lift up the color. I'm going to have this color a little bit lighter. I'm moving out. Uh, when you are thinking about dark and light colors, at the same time, you need to think about how bright is the color and how dark is the color. And over here, I want to have that outside, a little light shape, to stand out a little more. So I add a little darker color over here to create that contrast connection. So like over here, you can see that that actually can be a little bit darker because the color turning down over here. So it's easier to finish a uh, painting simple, but when you get want to get a little bit deeper and deeper, you maybe at the feeling that is uh, sometimes you just can't go on layer over layer. You know that uh, the painting process and that is the hard part how you can keep the painting as a cohesive painting in a good relationship at the same time you're getting more and more and more and more things that you want to show uh, in the painting and more and more layers in to the painting now I'm gonna give a little bit more defined to the mouth like that and the nose over here the corner I have a little bit darker area like that. That looks good. 
I hope you learned something from this lesson. If you like this kind of lesson and like the way I teach, please join us to our Enjoying Art Artist community. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. If this is your first time here, please subscribe and turn on notification. I will see you in my next lesson.